T.J. Watt has a half a sack tonight and 13 on the season. So bragging rights, first three seasons, J.J. back in 11 through 13 at 36 and a half. At the moment, T.J. with 33, more forced fumbles, three picks. J.J. had none. Two-time defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt. And T.J. probably uh, one of the lead candidates. Not probably, definitely one of the lead candidates for that award this season. to action on Monday Night Football. The Cowboys next week in New York. Trailing by 10, and Fitzpatrick goes down, and it's T.J. Watt. Steelers do. Strip sack. Pittsburgh ball. Watch number 90, T.J. Watt, come off the corner. He's going to take it up and then come inside. The arm over, the inside move. The sack, the fumble, the recovery. That's like the holy trinity. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's there a it is. <laughs> you get the And then you slide. And what with a shot to the ribs. You're not blocking number 90. Excuse me. T.J. Watt, just like his big brother. J.J.'s won the Defensive Player of the Year twice. Could this guy win it this year? Now watch this play here by Watt. He's going to come off the edge, get cut slightly, go to all fours, come up, and still make the play. Those are the kind of plays that young man has been making all season long. Yeah, they're using T.J. Watt as sort of a spy, a lurker, whatever you want to call him, standing in the middle of the field. And so that time, when Eckler tried to sneak out the other way, there was... Garoppolo still with the football. Now throwing at the screen. Pops up in the air. Picked off. The Steelers have the turnover inside the 35-yard line. Goff is sacked. As soon as he landed on his back foot, the pocket collapsed and will give T.J. Watt the credit. Eight and a half sacks. Here comes number 90, T.J. Watt gets under Rob Havenstein, and you can see on the opposite side, Bud Dupree. Fifth sack of the night for the Steelers. The signature part of being a Watt is your hustle. They never give up on plays. Here he comes all the way back. Four of those on sacks, two of them on just pure hustle plays like that. He has been fantastic. Tied for the league lead in that category. Seven times this year, he's forced them. This is the trifecta. J. Watt, a splash play for Pittsburgh. Yeah, he did it again, didn't he? Went right around the corner and chopped the ball out of the hand. Punched the ball out of ball carrier's hands. Right there. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Third and ten. Allen's going to take off. And Allen almost has it punched out. Wait. The Steelers always going for that punch out. You saw Watt come in there I, I, and try I, to do it. I don't know how Josh Allen held on to this ball. T.J. Watt was coming from behind. No way he could see him coming. And watch Watt take a right hook that Joe Frazier would have been proud of. I think he might have <laughs> hit the helmet, though. Finley looking to throw. Watt's coming. Finley loses the football. T.J. Watt the sack. He's only 245 pounds, but his speed. He's out there standing in the sunshine. He's getting ready for his second run at the quarterback. 
a phenomenal goal. play. Watch it. He's going to come off, basically get off balance, know where the ball is, dive for his foot, get just enough of it, tackle for loss. Huge play by a great player in a big moment. Singletary is back in there. And on a draw, he gets stuffed. TJ Watt takes his legs out from under him. Murray on fourth down. Murray at the 10, throws end zone, and it's intercepted! T.J. Watt! on the back end. This is just a better defense than what they were last year. Last year they were down by 16 at the half. They were trying to take a loss. It's knocked down, and that's T.J. Watt of the fabled Watt brothers. Brother J.J. in Houston. Number 90, T.J. Watt starting to heat up. Look at the inside move. Takes the outside hand, gets the inside arm. Play. They give it to Giovanni Bernard, and he's going nowhere, crushed by T.J. Watt. Kick, kick, kick! It's a hot! But 80! It's a play fake. Finley trying to set up the screen. It's knocked down. RG3 hit hard by T.J. Watt as he got it. Difference in the level of opponent and competition went up a few notches. Mark Ingram hit down low by TJ Watt. Almost got a sack fumble. They've had a great time with the crowd. Yeah, and then you know, the crowd is so... Watch what make the inside move, and the quarterback is going to actually step up. This is what you want. Great inside move. Maybe got nowhere with a hold there. But... Eventually taken 11th overall by Miami in the 2018 draft. Mack could not get to the outside. T.J. Watt gets over there for Pittsburgh. Top of the screen, he just uh, swims right by him. Mayfield hesitated a little bit because of the coverage in the secondary. They are not out of anything yet. It's Fitzpatrick, the deep safety here as Rivers looks yeah, one way and then gets collected by a tree. No doubt, just relentless effort out here by T.J. Watt. He has been something. He was trying to calculate the last time that he hit his brother. I thought maybe it was in the backyard when they were in third and fifth grade. So Arizona will start this drive at its own 18-yard line. And a pitch to Drake. Drake cuts it up, and T.J. Watt cuts him down. Mike Tomlin is starting to get this game about where he wants to end. No timeouts. Ball is out. The pressure on Goff. Rams got it back. Another fumble 
T.J. Watt forced that fumble, and he's been a force all afternoon. You can tell he studies his craft. Says all he, his entire life is about family and football, and it shows in his play. Oh, well, it's a heck of a family to be from if you love the sport. One of the three NFL brothers. Third down and ten. Hoyer in the pocket. Hoyer is dumped. T.J. Watt. Week in, week out. Watch this effort here by Watt. Going to dip that right shoulder and then just drive right to the quarterback. Nine-yard loss. Watt told about Butler's attention to detail, the defensive coordinator. And he just gives them a great understanding of the big picture. This series is absolutely huge and vital for Pittsburgh. They cannot allow even a field goal to the Ravens as bad as the Steeler offense is playing. Oh, knocked free, and the Steelers have it. Joe Hayden on the recovery. Pittsburgh has been doing it all season. And it's J.J. T.J. Watt. Eighth time this season he's been able to punch the ball out, and there he goes with a right hand right on the ball. He's perfected this. Boy, that is amazing how he's been able to do that. To locate where the ball is and then to punch it out. Just exactly what the Steelers needed. So Pittsburgh takes over at the Baltimore 34. J.J. Watt on Twitter. So excited for his younger brother. He says sack, fumble, recovery, beast mode. It was, wasn't it? From the pistol, Ingram denied. Nowhere to run. T.J. Watt all over it. It's a loss of one. This is twice now that Watt has been able to get into the backfield and stop the runner before he gets to the line of scrimmage. Tremendous quickness off the corner for Watt. Ravens come in number one in the NFL in total offense. Nearly 483 yards per game. Number one in scoring, tied with Kansas City at 33.8. But the numbers can be deceiving. That's what the kids are doing now when they get a turnover test. The but it's great. relationship there with, you know, J.J.'s 30 years old. you got Derek, the fullback for the charge. And T.J., imagine growing up in that house here, T.J. Well, and, and you're growing up there with the Hall of Famers. You get to pick his brain. You get to see how he works. You get to see the little things that he does. You know, success leaves clues in life. Right. And J.J. has left a lot of clues for T.J. and Derek.